Marching Kyo, they're still there. However, uh, Febby, KP, and Warnouts, uh, they're the new additions. And uh, yeah, well, what do you what do you think? How is that going to work out for them? With uh, Phonic, uh, who will be replacing Yoki, and whether that is uh, going to be making it harder for them, or maybe it even works out better, maybe. And with double TPs coming to the top tower, they never ended denying the tower until now. TP's just in the nick of time. Oh, nice Orchid with also that Sonic Wave. The help's gonna come in. That's from Resolution. Winding up the old Kuro is gonna get completely done here with a low art dance landing in Fabi. the front. He goes, Is there enough damage? There is when San also joins the fight. There's a two for one trade off. The Beast must have been the only one as KP. Well, he's looking. He wants to come in. Wait for that hook shot. He just slows down a low art dance, pushing back Stan as well. And the paralyzing cast not giving Empire the freedom to move around here. So a low art dance will drop. Now it's Lich Ulti. Always want to fly. Basically done down by March. And now it's Empire have overextended themselves too much. There's no hook shot to cancel the TP of Shadow Fiend. And Silent will be able to blink himself away to safety once the Shadow Strike wears off. And this, I think, is going to be the game-determining fight. If Empire can take this without any rebuttal, I really feel like that's a huge momentum swing. Eight seconds still troll, they need some kind of space maker, and like Clockwork it's Hogs is the only so thing fast. that can really do it. So KP, he's your man, but the Hulk, they're putting the Hulk, they're putting in the perfect position to stop him from getting the Hulk shot in, and Resolution is going to destroy him with the last tech not possible. They don't get the kill. QO is in the middle of this fight too. Finally, we get a casualty of war, which is the SF for the Aegis Immortal, and it's going to be MVP repelling Empire outside the pit after what was a really good Hawk. Resolution still trying to battle nuts. up against Nuts, but Nuts too strong. Oh, Resolution can't reach it well. into the tree line. The attack's going to be enough from Resolution. Maybe this was enough, off. though. It will be. If they can kill Resolution here, this is well worth the trade-off. They the burn through the Aegis. The Requiem Assault's going to go to work, but it's a blink away from Resolution. No hook shot. And oh, KP, he can't come in close. If he does so, he's going to end up dying. But Febby, no blink dagger available. Silent turns around. He's got a bee stick of life. But does he feel this is enough? Resolution, his blink dagger back off cooldown too. They're gonna bail out of here. Enough is enough. I feel like Empire, obviously, they're playing this game well. They're playing the patient game. They're waiting for the fights to develop. And they them. waited again. Silent, you, you know you want to. The Observer <laughs> was there. In fact, he's actually coming up for nuts. He didn't go for uh, Bebby. The Thunder God's Wrath will come in. Silent's already found that kill. That's Frost Armor and DD on the Slaughter. There is no way that MVP want to find that. Looks like a huge number advantage. And it looks like they feel like they've got it. Bebby chasing it down, but Lower Dance had a little bit more burst damage to give in return. Amplification is up. And here comes the Beastmaster. Blink up, no crush. Kuro does not want to become part of this one. While Resolution, there he goes, he winding up. He wants ready. Kuro, it's an instant kill onto the Queen of Pain. And Clockwork, the cogs aren't doing anything because Resolution's standing there in the protection of the BKB. The swap down, keeping Febby in the fight with the crush from Silent. This feels like it's just going downhill quickly for MVP. And there's no reason to give MVP any kind of breathing room to get that win over on them. And in fact, they're just going to go again. Yules, Quap up, the Raw's going to control him, and they just right-click down the rest of it. And they may even find some more. Silent does see the clockwork, gets the crush off with the application. Blade Mail never got off in time. So they pick up the double, and they can go for more. Resolution, Yules set for seven seconds for him, but it's Aloha Dance who also has another one. Yeah, and the tier two tower's gone. Lost now. They've given up so much at this point in MVP Phoenix. They're on the ropes. As long as Empire don't completely mess up this fight, this should mean another set of racks for them. MVP absolutely can't fight. You don't have your initiating hero or your Queen of Pain anymore. Yep. And the GG's called before there the it is. even goes down. So game was good and game will belong to Team Empire. Their first victory here at the LAN Finals. It looked pretty shaky at the start though, Blitz. It didn't really feel like they were going to take it out, but we just kept swinging the momentum back and forth. Yeah, and you saw what MVP's strengths are, is the early game, they want to try to use that momentum, but they weren't able to do so in this game.